Hi and welcome to Safe in the Real World where we explore the practical tips, insights and guidance of implementing SAFE in your unique environment. Today I'm really excited to be talking about the Scrum Master role in SAFE. So when you look at the SAFE big picture and you, you try to understand where the Scrum Master role actually fits, it fits in at the bottom tier at the team level uh, within the SAFE big picture and the acronym that you're looking for is, S is the SM acronym which refers to the Scrum Master role. Now the Scrum Master role is actually defined as part of the Scrum framework and SAFE has adopted uh, the Scrum Master role as part of the, uh, as part of the team, level, uh, uh, team level role. Now, the Scrum Master is often referred to as the servant leader of the team. Now, this is really different from a waterfall team where we may have a, um, a, a team leader which, which frequently implies a hierarchy. In Scrum, in SAFE, in Agile, we, we tend to avoid such hierarchies. So what we're looking for is somebody that actually leads by example. So we all often refer to these people as servant leaders, as I've said, but I've always, but I've never actually come across a very good uh, um, explanation of what uh, a servant leader actually may, may be. So in this video, I want to spend a little bit of time on that. So this is my definition. So in, in my opinion, a servant leader has, has a number of different characteristics. And the first one is that the Scrum Master should support the team. So what do I mean by supporting the team? Let's have a little bit, uh, let's have a look at that. So the first thing is, we, when, when we say uh, supporting the team, we mean that the Scrum Master should be promoting the Scrum values, okay? And so within that, within that broad framework, the, you could think of it simplistically as three elements to that. One is the roles, which is the Scrum Master, which we're talking about now, the product owner, and the delivery team okay um, and the second one is the ceremonies so these are the events or the meetings or the ceremonies that occur during the scrum uh, scrum life cycle okay so these are things like the sprint planning the daily stand-up which is your stand-up for 15 minutes where where the team stand around to to try and discuss what they've done on the previous day and what they're doing on the current day and then you've got other ceremonies like a backlog refinement and a sprint uh, review and a retrospective as well and then finally the scrum master is responsible for the artifacts so these are things like the product backlog the sprint backlog and also making sure that they're on track through uses of of um, things like burn downs and and other artifacts like that so the first key thing that scrum master does is he or she would support the team now the next thing that scrum master is responsible for is to help to support the team in its delivery as well so what do we mean by that so when there's a term inside inside Agile which is referred to as impediments. This is when the team or an individual is actually blocked from doing the work that they need to do and this is where I see a Scrum Master would play a, play a, key, a key role in actually helping to resolve those kind of blockages or impediments. Okay so the first one is supporting the team. Let's move on now. Now it's really important that when we, when we think about an Agile team, there needs, to be the, uh, there needs to be a real clarity in terms of the actual goals that that team wishes to, uh, wishes to accomplish. And the Scrum Master will play a big role in making sure that, support, in, in supporting the product owner to make sure that the, the goals are, are clear and they're understood by all of the team and actually I'll go so far as to say is making sure that they're visible so you almost want something that interrupts the team when they come in they can actually see okay this is the goal for this sprint so that's also very important so this is something that I, I think the team uh, the, the scrum master should help support the team to accomplish and now in addition to that in uh, the, the scrum master especially when the scrum master is working in a safe 
uh, implementation or a safe using a safe framework then the scrum master would be working with what's known as the release train engineer that sits at the program tier which is the second tier in a safe big picture now that's where the scrum master would need to ensure and work with the release train engineer to make sure that the delivery is is um, is supporting the overall mission as well so so he or she would be working uh, alongside the release train engineer to make sure that that the train is on track okay and then thirdly the thing is it's not enough for scrum master just to just to come in and make sure that the the team delivers you would want a scrum master that actually comes in and helps to elevate the team and help them to bring bring out their best version of themselves and help them to not just improve their overall velocity but you also want them to to actually help them to actually personally improve as well understand what their aspirations are and what their needs are of the of the individual I mean for example if you've got an individual that loves a certain type of coding then it might be useful for a scrum master to understand that to see if that he or she could help support that individual in achieving their own personal goals as well obviously this would, shouldn't be at the expense of the team but it's something that i think it was it's important to try and uh, and think of how the scrum master can actually support each individual within the team as well and obviously this and mindset is an essential element of that as well okay so let's now move on to the final one so look as you can see is you've got supporting the team thinking big elevating the team uh, to the next level and also lastly very importantly um, having that passion and that energy I mean have you ever been around uh, someone who like when they come and walk into the room it's like the energy just go boom drops down to the floor they're like what I call the energy drains and then conversely have you met people when they walk into the room they're like lift everybody's spirits they've got that energy it's contagious so now what we want is we want the scrum master to be to have a level of energy and enthusiasm so that they can they can fulfill uh, they can they can uh, bring some passion and motivation to the actual team so that they're able to get through those difficult uh, challenges that inevitably every team is going to face okay and then finally uh, what we want is we want the team to really start to um, enjoy um, uh, what they're what they're actually doing so you, you know if you've been on those teams where you where they love what they're actually doing is those teams that actually make the biggest difference and the biggest impact so making sure that uh, we uh, the scrum master is in charge of uh, not really in charge of but actually supporting and br bring more intention towards the team morale that's also quite important okay so quickly we've talked about four key things that i would recommend a scrum master uh, has uh, uh, as characteristics and they form the acronym step so something that maybe hopefully you can you can remember now what i want to discuss now is the difference between a scrum master in scrum in the scrum framework and the scrum master in safe so you're clear on what those differences are because because there are there are some differences they're subtle but i think that they are quite important so let's just have a look now over here so the scrum uh, in, in the scrum master role in scrum is very for is a very is very focused on the actual team itself as a as pretty much an, an isolated unit okay and so the the product owner would be providing the vision which would be uh which would be creating the backlog and driving the the scrum process and so the scrum master would would be interacting with the product owner and the team and would have some interactions with the wider organization as well of course but within scrum it's not really that clearly defined exactly how and when that interaction should occur so so it's a little less defined i would say than than in safe now if we if we uh if we look down over here towards this section of the board 
you can actually see within SAFE what we have is we have this concept of an agile release train and within an agile release train you can see over here on the whiteboard you've got three teams over here as a, as a simplistic example you've got three teams over here that make up the agile release train now the scrum master in SAFE would would have further duties in a SAFE model than he or she may have in the scrum model so let's just start off with the first one so there'll be more program level duties so let's just talk about what I mean by that so so he or she may be part of the scrum of scrums there is uh, which is is a uh, is a ceremony or a meeting where they where where all of the different representatives from the teams get together with the release train engineer and they discuss uh, cross-team dependencies and they dis discuss also impediments at the program level and how things are going uh, as well as they may look at the like the system demo which is a which is a uh, a cross team integrated event where they where the where the outputs from each team are are, are displayed in an integrated fashion okay um, as so similarly you may have also inspect and adapt and other program level ceremonies so the scrum master will play a larger role in terms of the program level duties okay the next thing is is that the scrum master would want to make sure that there is greater alignment by working with the release train engineers with other teams as well so as an example you may have a component that you're building that may be dependent on the story from another team and so you may need to interact with that scrum master to make sure you get that deliverable at the right time and then finally this so and then finally we want to make sure that the scrum master supports a product owner to make sure that the art goals are actually met so again as you can see the focus is not just on the team in in safe it is also at to support the overall agile release train so slightly more holistic more uh, more uh, uh, wider wider view of things for the scrum master in a safe environment okay so i hope you find that interesting and useful a few things that we've covered uh, so that is the scrum master role in safe uh, thank you very much do subscribe to this channel for for more uh, scrum for more safe in the real world tips thank you very much bye